Well, I'm in the field and I'm waiting for the next truck to arrive and I thought while I'm waiting I'm going to come out to the ditch area where I know that there's horsetail growing and I'm going to pick me some. I haven't picked myself any yet this spring. Well, it's already summer so it's already grown quite a bit. Some of this stuff here is a couple feet tall. Well, it's okay. I'm going to pick some of the young stuff and then I'm, once I get home, I'm going to show you guys what I do with it, how I use it, the purposes that I use it for, and all its benefits and everything. I'll tell you all about that when I get home. But for now, I'm going to show you where it's at, what it looks like while it's growing, and I think I hear the truck coming, so let's get picking. So this is what horsetail looks like when it's growing the kind that's around here and I'm just getting some of the smaller ones that are growing still growing quite a bit. Well, there's a still quite a bit of young growth here so that's good. Usually you want to harvest this in the spring when it's growing. A lot of this is already fully grown but it's all along this ditch area. And I just have to Pop it off, it just snaps right off. I have harvested all the horse tail that I will probably need for a whole year. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how I can how I clean it and preserve it so I can use it throughout the year, especially in the winter months. Um, first of all, horsetail has many different species, so they don't all look like this species of horsetail. This one's kind of called the scouring reed or the scouring. Um, so there's there's a whole bunch of different varieties. All of them, I do believe, are loaded with vitamin C and silica, and this is the reason I harvest it, is for the silica. And um, silica is good for your hair, for your nails, for your skin. Many people believe that it helps you stay look younger, so yeah. Also, there are many benefits towards um, using horsetail medicinally. It is a great diuretic. It helps your kidneys if you're dealing with kidney stones. It also is great if you have arthritis. It promotes clotting of your blood. If you are bleeding, it can help um, control or even stop the bleeding. Um, it can be used topically or in teas. Topically, you would put it on wounds, burns. Um, it's been known to heal broken bones um, and or sprains. So it's got many good benefits to it, many medicinal benefits to it. Before I, um, whenever you find this, I find mine along a ditch bank and every year it grows there and I, every year I pick it. So um, what I like to do when I get it home is to wash it. You can just rinse it off. Sometimes it likes to grow in sandy soil like that. So if it's dirty, um, I noticed that some of this had sand on it because it got rained on last night. So it had sand stuck to it. So I just want to give this a good washing. And then all I do is as you can see this type of horsetail comes in sections and it just pops apart in sections like this and you just have to pull apart okay so then you're going to get these little pieces little pieces and then what i do is i lay these out on my dehydrator tray and i dehydrate them I dehydrate them until they are crisp so you would know there's no moisture in them at all. They're very crispy. Um, in fact, let me see if I have some to show you. <sighs> Here. 
here. I do. So I have some from last year. That I'll just show you this one. It's very well dehydrated. It, it kind of crunches as you can hear it. There's absolutely no moisture in it. Okay, compared to this one is fresh, this one's dehydrated. Okay, so you just dehydrate them, and then once once they're fully dehydrated, you would store them in an airtight container. I like to use glass and keep them in a dark area, like in a cupboard or something, so no sunlight gets to them. So all you do is you can cut them or you can just pop them apart. I know that the kids like to just pop these things apart. It's fun to play with and easy to do. Um, if you want them in smaller, like this one had pretty large sections and you can um, cut them up if you want. Also, once they're dehydrated, you can run them through like a food processor or something and you can make a powder out of it. You can put this powder in capsules and you can take it that way. I personally just make teas, um, tea infusions with this. So what I would do is take about a teaspoon of horsetail and mine will be just cut up like this maybe in little smaller pieces. Then I will put these in boiling water, boil them for like five minutes, and then let that steep for another 10, 15 minutes so it's infused into the water, and then drink it. So that's how I make my horsetail tea. Horsetail is loaded with silica. That horsetail has 60% silica and 50% calcium in it, so it's very calcium rich. So, I hope you get out, forage for some horsetail, try it in your tea. You can also mix teas with it. So what I would do, I don't drink this every single day, I only drink it when I feel like I need a little um, boost. So this is, so this can help with your immune system. In the winter times when we like to, um, when we are trying to boost our immune systems, um, we would infuse horsetail with ginger, with turmeric, or uh, anything that has a lot of um, healthy immune boosting um, medicinal purposes. So, hope you give this a try. Thank you guys for joining. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Leave a comment below. I would love to hear from you. And I will catch you on the next video. Take care.